Hi, Soph, it's Tom. Uh, hey, what's the news? Oh, we got it. We got the commission. Oh, my, that's amazing. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's great news, hey? Um, listen, can you make a meeting on Monday to finalise the schedule and go through the budget with the big guns? Yeah, of course. Yeah, great. I've spoken to Robert. He's in. Um, I thought we should nail him to the mast as soon as we heard. Robert? The director. I told you about him at dinner last week. Track record as long as your arm. Right, great. I mean, Robert, I mean, he's happy with all the additional content, right? He's willing to cover it? We... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine. You did tell him about the multi-platform elements, didn't you? I'm sure I mentioned it, yeah. Look, don't worry, we can brief him next week. It'll be fine. OK, but we need to get our crew and our production schedule sorted before we go in on Monday. I don't want to agree anything and then find we don't have either the time or the budget that we actually need. Oh, stop worrying, Sophie. This is a good news day. Yeah, I know. It's great. I just want to make sure we both understand what's required for this particular show, all the parts of it. Yeah, I hear you. OK, look, the way I see it, we start with a small crew, right? You've got me as exec producer on the TV series, with Sarah and Steve researching for now. I'll probably need to bring in a series producer pretty sharpish. But I was thinking we could use Claire. She's produced that thing with the sharks or, or the fish or whatever, you know, the one with the big Twitter campaign. So she really gets all this digital stuff. Great. Yeah, Claire's really good. I'm going to put Henry in the cross-platform producer role. He can feed into Claire and, I mean, I think I'll need him to start next week. What? Why so early? I thought the website wasn't going to go live until after we'd finished post. It's not, but that only gives us one month of pre-production for him to figure out what the site's going to be, what it's going to do, how many people will use it and what extra footage they are going to need from the shoot for the site all the graphics, the images they need to gather, and they'll have to plug all that into the production schedule so that it doesn't come as a surprise on the shoot. Oh, right. Who's going to be shooting all that extra stuff then? Russell won't do it. He's a director, darling, not a digital geek. Well, it should still look the same and be shot at the same time. It would be ideal if Russell could be persuaded, but if not, we'll need a small second unit to film it and Russell's just going to have to down tools in enough time to get that stuff shot too. Well, he won't like that. Well, that's why we need a decent cross-platform producer to make sure it happens. OK, fine. Get Henry in then. And he'll be able to manage all of that and build the website and get the app on the old eye thingy? No. He'll he'll work with a user experience designer and an information architect to decide what the site needs to do, how many people will use it and what they'll need from it. Then he'll need to work with a team of designers and coders to actually build the site. When Russell and his crew start filming, Henry's team will be building the site. And as the assets come in from the shoot, they can start plugging them in. Assets? Do we have those in a budget? I don't remember anything about assets. Well, assets, I mean, it's just a name for all the bits they'll be grabbing on set that need to go on the online side. and All the images and colours and logos and so on that make up the website. Ideally, we want the same team designing the assets for the site as we do the graphics for the TV show. But we can split them if we have to. Blimey. Right. This is all adding up, huh? Who else do we need? In pre-production on my side, we'll need a producer, series producer, director, heads of art department, makeup, wardrobe, so on, camera team, sound team, and the collected minions and footmen. Obviously editors on and offline, a composer, probably Hillary again. I'll exec, as I said, with you obviously co-exec, but I'll have more of my head in the show and you, I imagine, more in the web. Is that about all? No, not not by a stretch. I mean, get your pen out, let's add the rest. So we've got me as exec and Henry as cross-platform producer and I'll need an overall project manager. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten a production manager as well and a production coordinator and a secretary. And then we'll have to have a head of UX. What? User experience, an information architect and then at least three designers a team of developers and coders, and we'll need a copywriter. Can't that be the same person as the VO writer? Well, possibly. I mean, they're pretty different skill sets, but uh, maybe. We'll also need a social media manager and a team of community stimulators. I dread to ask. Well, I mean, they're just people who chat to the audience on Facebook and Twitter and on the site and anywhere else they may be, basically. Um, they'll need a moderator to stop any swearing getting through. Apply me anymore? Uh, then we'll get into the post production time. So at that moment, we'll need testers and both the user experience and whether the whole thing's robust enough to withstand the millions of concurrent hits we're going to get. Of course. Can you imagine? And then, of course, when it's launched and finished, we'll need sales, distribution, marketing, 
not to mention legal and financial support the whole way through. Done. What about the app? Is that all covered by this lot? Hell no. We, we don't have that kind of experience in the team. We'll have to outsource it to an app design company. I know a good one. Henry can oversee that as well, so that's fine. Good job we've got such a generous budget then. Isn't it just? Ooh, we didn't mention runners. We are going to have runners, aren't we? Well, yeah, but we're not going to be able to afford the skinny frappuccinos you send them out for every hour. Oh. 